Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we've got an iconic one for you. The Pancor Jackhammer. You've seen it in a ton of video games and never in real life because these weren't really made. <laughs> there was like, what, two made ever? Uh, and because of this, uh, it looks weird and acts weird. And we're going to talk all about how weird it is. It is chambered in 12 gauge. It's over here in Home Shotgun MagFed Jackhammer. And it comes with this cylinder. It is a bullpup cylinder-fed revolving semi-auto shotgun. Uh, it's a lot of weird things. Let's check it out. Let's look at our controls on the jackhammer. Well, all we've got is one left on the trackpad. We'll engage and disengage the safety. Uh, and that is it. There is no charging handle. Once you put the rounds in, it will go bang as soon as you pull the trigger with the safety off. That is all you need to do. Down on the trackpad will not eject the cylinder. You have to grab it and pull it out yourself. As you can see here, you can actually take the rounds out of the cylinder visually by pressing up on the trackpad the same way you would any magazine. So that's fun to do. Can you put them back in by just putting down on the trackpad? Not easily. Let's see what attachments will fit. Oh, look at that. We got a rail on top. Fantastic. Whoa. Whoa. There, there it goes. A little tricky, but we could put that on there. Let's see if we can put something a little smaller up there without too much problems. There we go. So you can put a red dot on there, or I suppose you could put a laser if you really wanted to. Can you put a... Anything uh, underneath here? No, no other rails on it. So just the top. Let's see if we can put the compensator on this funky thing here. Mmm, doesn't look good. Come on, fit on there. Nope, no compensator. How about a suppressor? No, no suppressor. We are starting to run low on possibilities and no barrel attachment for rails. Hmm, how about a spatula? No spatula? What is a shotgun without a spatula? I tell you, it's already got stock, so you can't put an extra one on there. So I think that's all you get, just the top rail. Let's take a look at our default sights. They are kind of weird. So we've got a giant V notch in the rear and a front post that is kind of big, but not terribly thick side to side, so... There we go. We can get our bullseye. Just got to line up that front post with the top of the rear sight. And don't forget, we're about two inches, no, more like three inches, <laughs> above the uh, center of that barrel. So we've got to kind of compensate for that, too. Let's do our buckshot spread test. Hmm, eight and a half. Okay. Eight, eight, so basically tactical, as I call it, barrel size. The barrel on this is going from here to here, so it's not a not a terribly short barrel. Or maybe it only ends here, so maybe it's there to there. That would make it a little more like the quote-unquote tactical size, not like a long barrel like we have on some of them. So that number seems to coincide with most of those tactical sizes, so that's okay. Eight High eights up to nine, that's pretty typical. Semi-automatic recoil test. Here we go. So we start with a 10, get a 9.3 average. That is a very lovely result for 12 gauge. Well, there you have it. Semi-automatic Pancor Jackhammer weirdo prototype thing in the game. Till next time, I will see ya. Pretty accurate. <laughs> it's also really a pain to reload. Oh, it's about the... There it goes. Ugh.